morning. Sorry about the angle. The tripod is made for short people. Anyway, we're doing a timing set on a Gen 5 LT motor, General Motors. And if you're doing this in the vehicle, there's a good chance you're going to not get your timing marks lined up. So uh, there is a PIP on it, and it's pretty obscure. I'm using part of what they said, but the way that I do it is quick so you don't have to waste any time you know wondering if you're going to get it right the first thing that we're going to do is uh we're going to mark the gears and i'll let me move the camera here so you're going to start with your timing gear this is a 4.3 so it has a balance shaft that drives off of the camshaft so uh it's going to have two gears it'll also have uh, two marks here. It's going to have a mark if you have the mark pointing down Which would be the normal position for it. You're going to have a, a mark about 90 degrees away to your left So that's your balance shaft timing mark because the balance shaft is timed of course so pointing down you're going to count uh, Well, actually the best way to do it is you're going to Rotate this 180 degrees so your marks at the top and you want to go clockwise You're going to count down starting at your mark. There's 44 teeth on here You're going to split that in half so you're going to come down 22 teeth and you're going to make a mark at your 20 22nd tooth So we're done with that one. So we're going to put that back up here in the position it goes in Then you're going to take your your crankshaft gear and you're going to find your mark which I put a paint dot on it and there's 22 teeth on this, so I'm going to come down 11 teeth, and I'm going to put a mark at the 11th tooth. So this is all doesn't make a lot of sense optically. You know, if I lay a straight edge on there, it's going to be off center. But don't worry about that. Don't try to overthink this. And then we're going to take our chain. I've already marked it, but we're going to take our chain, and we're going to lay it out just like this. We're going to make sure that our, you know, teeth or our, our links are all laid out just like that there's 30 links on this chain so we should have 15 per side you know go ahead and count it and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our paint marker and we're going to put a mark on each uh, 15th link you know like that and then we're going to come up here and we're going to do the same put a mark here so at this point we can go ahead and just put this on the truck so if we split our mark between these two links right here, just like that, here's our mark, there's our two links, and we do the same on the cam gear, the timing's going to be perfect. And this took, what, a minute to do. So I don't have to do anything else. This is an old set. I already have the new one on. All I need to do is take this timing set and go put it on the truck and line these marks up. If I line these marks up, you know, it's my timing's going to be on and I didn't waste a bunch of time and I didn't have to take it back apart. So when I put this together the first time and rotated the crankshaft, you know, just going by eyesight, I was off by two teeth at least. So uh, there is a PIP on this, like I think I might have mentioned, but uh, it's pretty obscure. So, um, if you want to get this done and make money doing it and and get it out the door and have it not come back or have to take it back apart because you know it's setting a p0016 for the crankshaft um, do it this way and uh, it'll save you a lot of time and headache it's not rocket science it's just you know simple numbers so um, this is the the best way that I found to do it and the quickest way and the most surefire way as long as you do your counting properly which you know it's not it's just simple arithmetic, you know, it's going to go on there and everything's going to line up perfectly. The balance shaft also gets timed, but it's pretty simple and straightforward to do that. But I always put the camshaft together first, and then I'm going to rotate it two full revolutions and then check my marks, you know, make sure that my marks are lined up on my cam and crankshaft, which they're going to be if you do it like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and rotate it two more, you know, a, a total of four rotations, and that'll bring my chain marks back, you know, just just for uh, to feel warm and fuzzy. You know, I'll see that all my marks are lined up. So uh, hopefully 
somebody will uh, benefit from this tip and uh, it's quick and easy and it's surefire and you know 100% guaranteed you're going to have your timing dead on and you won't have to go back in there so anyway thanks